The UH-1C XM-30 is a premium American helicopter in War Thunder. Let's fly it out. The UH-1 Iroquois helicopter, more commonly known as the Huey, was originally designed as a light utility helicopter during the 1950s. The early prototypes represented a significant upgrade in just about every category over earlier American designs, and it was quickly put into service starting in 1959. When the United States entered the Vietnam War, the UH-1 formed the basis of a new combat doctrine using helicopters to quickly deploy infantry into combat hotspots and then extract them afterwards. As this new doctrine evolved into what we now call the air cavalry concept, the need for armed helicopters to provide suppressive fire and engage enemy vehicles had quickly become pretty obvious. To this end, the UH-1C was developed as a dedicated gunship version of the basic Huey. The C model featured an upgraded engine, some rework to the tail structure, and a significant external weapon load. It had a turret in the nose containing an M129 40mm grenade launcher, which was affectionately nicknamed the Chunker by its crews, and it also had an assortment of gun pods, rockets, and eventually even wire-guided tow missiles. The UH-1C had a number of drawbacks as a gunship, not the least of which was a complete lack of armor for the engine and the crew, and it was widely accepted as just being an interim solution while the AH-1 Cobra was still under development. Overall, the UH-1 Iroquois is one of the most successful helicopters ever built anywhere in the world, with well over 15,000 being produced in dozens of variants, and more than 50 years after it was introduced, there are still hundreds of them flying all over the world in both military and civilian service. What we get in War Thunder is the UH-1C XM-30, which is a premium helicopter in rank 5 of the US Tech Tree at battle rating 8.7. This was originally available on the web store as a pack vehicle, but it was removed a couple of years ago. They added it back in temporarily for an event in August of 2022, and it may come back for similar events in the future. This helicopter is pretty basic. It gets night vision, a 20x optical zoom, and it can set a sensor point of interest, but otherwise it has no advanced features. No countermeasures, no radar warning receiver, and importantly, no armor. Its main gun is the M129 grenade launcher, which fires high-explosive anti-tank grenades. This weapon can actually be kind of difficult to use, since you don't get a CCIP for it, and the shots are pretty low velocity, so aiming can be a little tricky. Still, if you get hits, it can pop light targets, and it can do a lot of superficial damage to heavier tanks. Its loadouts include the option for two more grenade launchers, a set of miniguns, rocket pods, and launchers for tow missiles. The best weapon you get is the BGM-71C Improved Tow Missile. This is a semi-automatic command line of sight guided weapon, and you have to guide it in manually, but that isn't too difficult most of the time. It's a pretty effective anti-tank missile, and at this BR it can destroy almost anything you go up against in one hit. It has an effective range of about 3.5 kilometers, but it isn't especially fast, so you're going to be spending a lot of time in your targeting view. The best news, though, is that this helicopter can carry six of these tow missiles, which isn't bad for battle rating 8.7. The flight performance of the UH-1C XM-30 is quite good for a helicopter at BR 8.7. Remembering that this is a utility helicopter with some weapons strapped on, and not a purpose-built attack helicopter. It's pretty light, and it has good collective response considering that it only has a two-bladed rotor. You can get it over 200 kilometers an hour in level flight pretty easily, and it actually slows down pretty quick too. This helicopter is quite maneuverable, 
and if you have good situational awareness, it's possible to dodge manually guided missiles if you time it right. But without countermeasures or anything, guided missiles are still a pretty serious threat. One thing to mention, despite its maneuverability, make sure you don't try and do barrel rolls or full loops, especially at low altitude. The UH-1 is not fond of being upside down. Taking this helicopter out into battle is pretty basic low-tiered helicopter stuff, but the weapon system it has changes the dynamic a little bit, especially considering its battle rating. The nose-mounted grenade launcher, the Chunker, is a bit more useful for scouting targets and blowing tracks off of tanks than it is for getting kills, but it can still pop light vehicles if you get in close. Now, to be really clear, getting in close is usually a bad idea in this helicopter. The reason, simply, is that it has absolutely no armor at all. Like, none, anywhere. So, even a few light glancing hits from enemy machine guns are going to be enough to bring this thing down. Now, it's possible to get lucky with an early game rocket rush or something and score a couple of kills before getting wasted. But to be very clear about this point, if you get into a position where enemy tanks have a clean line of sight on you, their roof-mounted machine guns absolutely will bring you down. Unless you strictly limit yourself to standoff attacks with the tow missiles, like out past two kilometers or so, you're gonna get shot down in this thing. A lot. Now, I have quite a bit of fun flying in fast and close. I just know that it won't usually end well. And for me, that's okay. Now, if you fly the meta, and you use the UH-1C XM-30 for standoff attacks with the tow missiles, you might end up surprised at how effective it can be. It has six long-range guided missiles at a pretty good battle rating. And since you're not going to be going up against guided surface-to-air missiles most of the time, unless you get up-tiered, you can outrange pretty much anything on the ground that's attacking you. It's easy to get tunnel-visioned into your missile sight, though, so it's not a bad idea to go back to the external view between shots and try to take a look around and make sure you're not drifting too close to the battlefield. I find myself doing that a bit more with this helicopter than usual. The alternative is to use hover mode, just remember that you'll be easier to hit even at a distance. It's also worth mentioning that in PvE battles, this is placed in the lower tier, where its tow missiles can outrange everything on the ground. So your grinding potential is really limited only by your patience. Now visually, this really just looks like all the other Hueys, with the exception of the chunker up on the nose. Given how common this family of helicopter is out in the real world, this ends up looking really generic, but still, it doesn't look bad, despite not having any custom paint jobs or anything. Now, landing is pretty easy. This one's got landing skids, which I always prefer on a helicopter instead of wheels. A moving stop, like landing in a cap zone without the hover mode, can be a little more tricky, but sticking the landing is simpler and it won't move around at all after you've sat down. Overall, the landing performance is quite good. To close out on the UH-1C XM-30, this helicopter gets six tow missiles. It's got decent agility. It's super cheap to get into in terms of spawn points. And it gets premium bonuses. However, it has absolutely no armor whatsoever. It has no defensive systems at all, and it doesn't get a CCIP for any of its weapons. The final verdict on the UH-1C XM-30 is that this helicopter is a bit of a glass cannon. If you stick to the meta and use it for standoff missile attacks, you can get a good number of kills in this thing, but if you like the high-risk rocket rushing, it's capable of that too. Overall, there are better choices for premium helicopters, but if you want an American helicopter to grind with, this might not be a bad pick for you, especially considering its battle rating. As always, thanks for watching.